Hi, welcome for our RTL online trainings. Whenever we are working with our uh, Fusion application, sometimes we'll be getting a standard message in our uh, springboard. On top of the springboard, we are going to get a text message type of thing here. Uh, if at all we don't want this, this we call it as a banner message. In Fusion applications, this we call it as a banner message. It will be displayed to all the users whenever the users try to perform some transactions. Uh, if they have any role or it does not have the role, it doesn't matter. Irrespective of the role, this banner message is going to be displayed. It's for all the users. It's for all the users. If the organization wanted to put some message, standard message for everyone, then they'll try to pick this particular banner messages. Yeah, for example, you are trying to do some miscellaneous transaction in the inventory or try to create account payables invoice or try to create a uh, you know, customer invoice in AR module or hiring an employee. But this message will top of the page. Uh, it will always try to display here. This will be provided. But we don't want this. We cannot restrict uh, for a particular uh, user. It's not possible. If we are going to put the banner message, uh, it will be displayed for all. It will be displayed for all. If we don't want this message, let's say we want to remove this particular message, uh, we need to do this setup uh, from administrator uh, profiles. Let's go back to our uh, application here, FSM environment, and go to global search area. Search for the task here. Manage administrator uh, profiles here. Manage administrator profile values. And here we have the profile option. And once we get the profile, this is search region where we are going to choose the profile name and get the search result. Then select the profile name and set the value. Try to set the value here. So banner message we are trying to set here. FND banner message. FND stands for foundation. That's going to be. Uh, foundation here, site level, here we can see that site level, welcome to Oracle Fusion. We have only one option, site level. Site is site is nothing but it's for all the users. We don't have any separate option here. Uh, we have only one option here. Okay. So now let me remove this. Save and close. Just log out and log into the applications. Once we log into the applications, uh, we don't find uh, uh, this message. It, it takes some time. We need to wait for a couple of minutes here. Now we can see that we don't find the message here. We need to wait for a couple of minutes uh, uh, to go for hiding this message, whatever the message is deleted. But some organizations wanted to go for display this message in their own language. It's not in English. We would like to go for uh, specify the local language, French or Korean, any of other languages they wanted to go for display. So in that scenario, what we have to do is, again, we have to go to the same task, manage uh, administrator profiles. If we go to manage uh, administrator profiles here, let's search for the task here. Manage administrator profile values. Here we have a profile name called uh, translation editor languages. Translation means other than English. So this language uh, will be this window. So whatever the language here, if we mention F stands for French and KO Korean, like that uh, we are going to provide the values. Whenever it comes for the English, we don't need actually, we don't need to specify because uh, Default base language is American English, right? That's why it's not required. So this is how we can go for uh, set the 
profile uh, values, banner message in case. For example, a uh, client says that whenever user log into the applications, uh, we just need, uh, let me go to our springboard here. We are getting the name of the employee, right? So whoever is a connected employee that we are going to get. So for some of the users, let me take uh, some other uh, transactional employees. Let me just take another uh, employee here. Just log out and log in. So this user is not an employee user. This user is an implementation user. This user is not an employee user. So when you go for enter the employee user here, let's say Curtis. Seems the password is incorrect. Here we can find uh, the employee name, right? Once employee log into the applications, we are able to find uh, the employee name over here it is. Uh, how we can go for uh, display the message or uh, photo in case uh, employee photo uh, needs to be displayed. For this also, we need to set the profile value, same. Go to global search here. Let's go to administrator profiles here. Manage administrator profile values here. Give the profile name called FND user photo enabled. Here we have to specify. So it will be used to display the image in the global area. If you set the profile option to no, then the instead of the message, the user's full name will display in the global area. So right now we have specified as yes, profile value as yes displayed here. So two options will be there, yes or no. Whether you want to go for display the name here it is okay let's go for uh, save and close this so these are the profile values administrator profile values will be using most of the times we cannot remember all the profiles sometimes in the interviews they'll ask you oh, where can we set this uh, uh, banner messages are displaying username or message name and all then what we'll do is we'll try to set the administrator profile values Based on that, it will automatically uh, populated uh, over here it is. Okay, if we set that as no, then it's going to be displayed as uh, only the employee name is going to be displayed here. Let's go for uh, setup and maintenance here. It takes some time uh, to get updated here. Thank you.